Hi guys and ladies, I found a Rachel Ray recipe that looks delectable. Fish enchiladas. Yes, I've done them before here years ago, but this recipe looks richer, cheesier, and creamier. I have everything I need to make it. Ah, uh, 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 except one. Well, you guessed it, the fish. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the top. It doesn't matter much what type of fish I use for this recipe, so I'll try for bluegill, crappie, or small bass. Let's go with tiny plastic tails on a 1 16th ounce lead-headed jig like this. I don't think color or brand matters too much. Fish here seem to like everything. Let's get out there. Whoa, okay, the first fish is a bass. It's small, it's the type I have to remove from the lake. Perfect. Yeah. Another bass. <laughs> Who would have thunk with this little bait that I'd be catching a bass this big? Well, this bass is almost 13 inches. I really ought to return them. I shouldn't keep anything over 12. Something. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Ooh, he doesn't look big, <laughs> but he's big. Ooh, ha <laughs> ha! Oh God, he got my grub. He's very big. Take my word for it. Yeah, yeah. They're running big. <laughs> I love this bluegill. Wow. Yeah. Yes, 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 another good bluegill. <laughs> My least, my least favorite eating fish. Oh, a massive crappie. About 13 and a quarter inches. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Oh, this bluegill doesn't look like much, but it's big. Ooh. <laughs> I love my bluegill. I do have one. Yes. Another unwelcome passenger aboard the USS Juanello, a crappie. <laughs> Not my favorite. Ha ha! Woo! A blue kill. And a big one. Oh, another big one. Woo! They're running big this fall. Yeah. Look at this. 
Look at this. It must be fall. I caught a perch. Oh, is that nice? Ooh, he's big enough to fillet. These are my favorite tasting fish of all. They are just the greatest. And bluegill are very good, very good second. You don't really need live bait. These plastic things work great. See? Nice average size eater. Whoa! <laughs> wow, this guy bit as soon as the lure hit the water before I could count one Mississippi. Nice one. <laughs> Looky here, we've got seven bluegill, bass, perch, crappie. Well, that should give us plenty of fillets. This will be perfect for our enchiladas. Now, let's get back in the house, fillet the fish, and tomorrow we'll make creamy, cheesy enchiladas. Here it is the next day, and looky here. Just a bluegill alone gave us almost a pound and a half of fish fillets. Well, that should be enough for at least a few enchiladas, so let's do this. I just preheated the broiler. Here, I've got a baking sheet with my bluegill fillets laid out. I'm going to spray them with this uh, olive oil spray, and then I'll sprinkle the top with Old Bay seasoning. Now I'm just going to pop them in the broiler for eight and a half minutes. Yes, that's what I want. All I'm going to do is let them cool and then we'll flake them up. <laughs> you could stop it right here. This is a great meal. I mean, really, these are very good this, this way. That's all you need. <laughs> so now I'm just flaking our fish up. Now more flavor. I'm adding the juice of half of a lime. I think this is enough. I'm just going to put it aside now. Okay, we have a whole brick of softened cream cheese. And to that, I'm going to add about, oh, I don't know, six to eight ounces of this sour cream. Now looky here. I've got two teaspoons of ground cumin. I love cumin. I love the smell. Oh. Okay, I've drained a couple of cans of these chopped green chilies and I'm going to add them to our sour cream mixture. Looky here what I'm doing. Here's about a cup of this uh, shredded Monterey Jack cheese. Okay, here's a quarter cup of chopped cilantro. You could use parsley. Here goes a teaspoon of dill, dried dill. I never know how much salt. I'm going to put a half teaspoon in. When you don't know, always go for a half teaspoon. About the same with the pepper. Now we're putting in the fish. Remember, oh, it's so good, this fish. Oh, my goodness. I could eat this right out of the bowl. I'm so tempted to, ah, you know. Oh, I've got some low-carb tortillas. I'm going to take our mixture. I don't know how much. I'm going to slop it in there. I'm going to roll it up, and I'm going to put it in the casserole dish. Oh, yeah, babe. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. I have enough for eight overstuffed enchiladas. Seam side down. I've got a pint of heavy whipping cream. Now watch. Just going to pour it over the top. Look what I'm doing now. I've got a cup and a half of both cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese. I'm just going to spread it over the top. Here's where Italians and Mexicans come together in bliss. Look at this. This is Pecorino Romano. About a cup. I'm going to put it over the top. Yeah. 
pecorino romano. I got the oven set to 375. All I have to do is put these casserole dishes in for 47 and a half minutes. While our bluegill enchiladas are in the oven, I might as well let you all know that famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, has accepted my invitation to dinner tonight. You know, although we've been seeing each other for over 50 years, she's never even uttered the word marriage. If only I could steer her to the subject, well then I'd have a chance with her. It's been about 47 minutes. Let's take it out and have a look. It's golden brown, that's for sure. Wow! Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for honoring me by coming over uh, and dining at my discount double wide. And uh, you had a chance to partake in my uh, uh, bluegill enchiladas with uh, cheesy, creamy sauce. And what did you think of them? Oh, it was delicious. It was somewhat, you know, Chris, you know how much I love cheese. And when cheese is toasted and crispy it's even better it was and the inside were, was oh yes the inside was excellent creamy. and i you know i like the little um green onions that i could spread on top mm. it was very good thank excellent. you thank you so much miss cheeks oh I, I can say lulu now i think uh, do you ever think of the word marriage marriage isn't a word it's a sentence huh um can, can i have a hug